We are going to visit three wine regions for the taste of Portugal. We are here uh, presenting you the Quinta dos Covares uh, winery from the region of Bad Interior. Uh, we are a business family, uh, a project of already uh, 10 years. Uh, we have two whites and two reds, and this, this red, as I, as I told you, um, it's a vintage. It's a 204 vintage. And Is it a reserve? Yeah, it's a reserve. It's a, a very, very, very good uh, red dog wine. I want to be tasted. Oh, yeah? Okay. For us, it's a pleasure. And we want to hear your opinion. Very fruity in the nose. Okay. This is my favorite. It's not every year that we do a reserve like this wine. Uh, it's, uh, it's only made by selected grapes uh, that we uh, test out in the field for a sugar rate. Jennifer, tell me about some of these wonderful wines that you're producing here. And tell me the name of the vineyard as well. Well, the vineyards are called Quinta de Baixo. The cellar is also called Quinta de Baixo. And our wines, they are also called Quinta de Baixo, but we also have some other brands that are called Blaudos and Lagar de Baixo. But Quinta de Baixo is our premium wine brand. And what does that mean, actually? Quinta de Baixo means, Baixo means low, and Quinta would mean farm or estate. You know, you have this wonderful countryside here, you know, the rolling yes, hills and the vineyards. I am privileged, I am privileged to work in, uh, in Quinta de Baixo. You know, everybody here is young, you know, and that's, uh, in the wine business you would think you would have older generations, but I, as I'm looking around, everybody's young and fresh, and it just keeps, I think it keeps the wine fresh too. <laughs> Well, actually, we also have we have um, we have um, uh, young wines, fresh young wines. Right. But we also have uh, vintages that are older. Um, those come from our older vines. Yeah. That our vines go from 10 to 80 years old. Wow. So we have like Grand Scolia, which is great choice, and private collections that go that uh, are, are from around 2005 and 2007, and they come from our old vineyards. So Prasada de Vizio was once a hospital and now it's been converted into a hotel. A tour of the town of Vizio is filled with history, churches, and political buildings. This cathedral is lined with gold that covers the Gothic interior. I'm talking to Miguel and he's from the Tasters Association and I'm so excited to be here because he's going to tell me all about what the association does for all of the winemakers. So tell me all about it. Okay. I work in the wine commission that certifies the wines from the Demacate region of Bajada and when the sellers and the wineries make their own wine, they propose the wine to be certified. So we go there and we get some samples. But it's a okay. mystery for all the people who are coming to taste. Is a complete that right? mystery, yes. They only seen uh, glasses like uh, we see. The, no labels. No labels, right. no bottles, right. only glasses. Right. All, all similar glasses, not right. even this type. A different style, right. Yes. Uh, full in the same level, right. exactly. And the only that knows what is in each of the glasses. It's me. You know, I'm sitting here at this wonderful dinner talking to Tiago, and he's going to share the experience of his wonderful wine. Talk about your label, as a matter of fact. Well, this label here 
It states the name of our state, Quinta da Giesta. And the region name here, which is Dão, yeah. where we are, right. named after the river. Right. Below we have the name of the grape. So in this case, we use one of the most emblematic grapes of our country, which right. is the Toriga Nacional. Right. Toriga Nacional is quite versatile grape. We can do this rosé. We do it when we need to bleed our tanks, when we produce our top red wine, which is also based on the same grape, Toriga Nacional. So in order to have achieved a deeper concentration in that red wine, we remove some must at the time and we ferment it apart. And what we want is we want to preserve that freshness and that floral aroma so typical from the Toriga Nacional. I'm talking to Julia Kemp, and she is one of the growers of great grapes, fantastic wine, and we're here, and talk about the location that we're sitting here at this wonderful table, having this great conversation. Yeah, the location? Yes. The location is Mangualdi, 16 kilometers from the place where we are. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's uh, near the river Down that gives the name to the wine. Yes. And uh, well, it's uh, in a in a um, in the top of the mountains, and uh, it's. Uh, uh, By the way, I want to ask you about the mountains. The mountains have something to do with has the sun in terms of direction. Yeah, it's a lot to do with the growth of the grape. Yeah, and, and, um, and they are all oriented for the sun. Right. So you're only doing white wines and red wine and red wines. for the moment because right. they are very. Uh, uh, young, yeah. let us speak this way. And do you do any sparkling wines? We will do sparkling wines, we will do rosé. It's fascinating how these buildings slope down the hills with their terracotta roofs. I love this mosaic wall that decorates the city. I'm here in the vineyards of Casa de Moorish, and it's in the Dal Valley, and I'm talking to Cesar, and he does everything here. The vines are sleeping at the moment. They're waiting for the spring. Talk about some of these wonderful wines that you do. You do red and you do white. Yeah, and uh, we, we started making uh, organic wines in 2000. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everybody's curious yeah. about yeah. that. Yeah. You know, everybody wants something that's organic. Yeah, and now, uh, four, year, uh, four years ago, we started to make biodynamic wines too. Right. Yeah. And what does that really mean, biodynamic? Well, we care the land and we care the plants. Right. Uh, Not the artificial. Suckling pig is a national dish, as this gentleman is preparing it in the oven. Dinner always starts with a variety of dishes. Tell me, how long does it take to prepare the, the pig, the succulent pig? Basically, we place a stick inside the pig's mouth and it goes to the end of the pig. We put it in the oven, which is preheated for an hour. We use grapevine wood and olive wood. Claudia, tell me about some of the wines that you paired with this lovely dinner this evening. Baga, é um espumante feito de This is a very special spumante made from black grapes, and it goes great with smoked ham and very hearty food. I want to thank our hosts and winemakers who have really made a celebration of our lives with these great wines, and it's such a great pleasure to be here in Portugal. And this is my second time, but I'm really loving it. And I'm learning so much about all the wines and the great people here. Thank you for being our host. Well, we've come to the end of a great journey throughout Portugal, through the wine region. And there's so many great wines to discover throughout the country. I love the cuisine. Suckling pig, unbelievable. Portugal is a fantastic destination. You have to come. And remember, get up, get out, and travel. forward to seeing you next week at another great destination.
山。